Good day, Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. We're going to give this a little, uh, just a little, a, a record of what I did on this machine. Um, just a video record. <clears throat> machine came in, this is a word processor, Smith Corona PWP 50D. Um, it is the type of word processor Smith Corona has that does not have a disk drive. So there's no disk drive on this machine anywhere. All it uses for storage for word processing is internal memory chips, so it stores internally on the on the circuit board. Also has a battery on the circuit board that you know maintains that that memory on the chip. And if the battery is good, we're good. It will store, but if the battery goes bad, uh, you're going to lose your information. Okay, machine is fixed. Uh, actually, I've already fixed it. Took it apart, cleaned it, fixed it. It had a bad keyboard membrane and what's bad on here is these two little contacts right here which are the A and the Z you can see the deterioration of those right there they should not have those little black marks they should just be like these guys right here but something got in here uh, either it was a manufacturer defect or something got spilt in there and eventually corroded that. Uh, it's hard to tell. It doesn't look like there's a spill. It looks very isolated. I don't see any residue. But this also has been replaced in 2010. There's a date on this, this membrane. So somebody put this in, or it was, this was made in 2010. I don't know when it was put in. Um, I don't think this is OEM. This is aftermarket because the OEM looks different than this. It's a different color green, and it's a different um, feel to it. So that's what's been replaced. That goes inside the keyboard. So it has these little contact pads and those engage with these little contacts. And then this all goes together in a process and that makes a keyboard. So that one's been replaced in here. That was the main culprit. Was the uh, was the A and the Z weren't working. So let's turn this thing to typewriter mode, and then the A and Z will work. A and Z will work now. Everything works. So that was the main thing. But we did have a list on this machine of things that were needed attention including the fact that this was purchased for way too much money. I would have sold it for 200 bucks. Okay, so as the letters aren't working, the platen is, I think the platen's okay. It doesn't seem to be uh, out of whack here at all. It looks alright. Um, it does have an aftermarket knob. Somebody, probably during that, that shipping damage it had, they they replaced this knob. This knob is not OEM, but it's, it's fine. <clears throat> Everything is good in the platen here, so I went ahead and cleaned this out some too. It was a little dirty for some reason. <clears throat> Shouldn't have been dirty at all, but. Okay, so we got the keys, the platen. Um, there were some, some brown marks in there. I don't think they were, I don't know what they were, but they weren't. Uh, causing that problem. Okay, correction is only funky because it's a uh, because you guys have a um, um, multi-strike ribbon on here. So this multi-strike ribbon, number one, it prints with ink versus well, it's carbon, but it's it's a little darker. It's impossible to correct. So this has a cover-up ribbon on it. And the cover-up ribbon is not working properly. See that? It doesn't quite cover the letter. But that's just the nature of of these style ribbons. Um, nothing I can do about that. Besides put on regular regular ribbons. See this has a multi-strike cartridge and also a cover-up correction ribbon here. So. It's just not, you can see the characters right here. 
that's just the nature of that not to work very good. They look, they look like they're printing there, but but when it comes down to paper, it doesn't really cover up that. Nothing you can do. It's turning and working right. That's just the nature of the cover-up ribbon. Nothing much you can do about that. Okay, so put this back in. Close her up, and we're going to give this a little demonstration of how how this machine works. You know, as far as like the memory and stuff. Let me turn on some more light here. So let's say um, you know this works like a regular typewriter. It's got an oversized screen, but it can work like a regular typewriter, just like this. It's beeping because the spell check is on, so we can turn the spell check off. Now it's gonna. That's not the dictionary. Oh, I can see. I was pressing the wrong buttons. Um, let me get out of this mode. Okay, so now I'm back to type mode. That's where I was. And we need to go to uh, code dictionary right there. Now, now it stops beeping. And if I want to change the pitch here, I just go to uh, code settings, change that pitch to 10, hit return, and now it, uh, it types out a little better. See how it was crowding, the pitch was, now it's, um, now it's in pica mode. Before it was either in the elite, or micro. That's in the settings right here. And you change this pitch right here. Okay, so she's in tight mode. This machine is pretty neat because it also has word processing. All you gotta do is switch the switch here to word processing and it gives you some choices here. But what I wanted to show you was we're gonna turn the machine off right here. Off. And we're going to unplug it, so it's unplugged, so now when we go to plug it in and turn it on, and so your machine is ready, I, you can just go to Use this thing right here. It says create, edit, set margins right here. Print document is what we want, which is number three. Press number three, and then in the directory right here, it has test, which is what I did. So you can use the cursor buttons here and move to highlight the, the word test. Hit return. And it says, Do you want to begin printing page one? Yes. Hit return again. I think that's going to start printing. So there it goes, and it's going to type out what I stored in here earlier. Got a bi-directional printer, and I just put a couple returns on so it would kick it up. And that's a pretty nice typewriter. It's all fixed. Everything is working on this guy now again. So that's our uh, not so quick a video of what we did to this uh, PWT 50D Phoenix typewriter. Good day.